You've reached your destination. Hi, friends. Welcome back to Their End Back podcast with Shavana and Cassidy. Today, we are going to talk about goal setting and how we keep our goals as a constant habit and, you know, achieve those goals. So if you're a goal setter like Shavana and I, hopefully this episode really excites you. Hey, guys. Welcome back. Well, uh, let's kick it off with our peaks and pits. You want me to go? You want to go? I Ooh. I can go. So my peak is actually well, I'll start with my picks. They collab. They like kind of are together. So my pit is yesterday. I brought the twins to a birthday party, and the playground was mulch, and my hoka was in pat impaled like Olaf, like when he literally just like poof, impaled. So there was a twig that like went through, and it was funny because at the moment I thought like a piece of mulch just got in my shoe, so I like took off my shoe. Wasn't in the shoe. Felt around my sock. Wasn't in the sock. I'm like, what the heck. So I go to put the shoe back on and I walk and I'm like, ow, my foot is being like stabbed. Like it was a stabbing feeling. So finally I took it off and the dad was like, here, I'll try to help you. And he had like a pair of pliers on his car. I'm assuming he's like does something with tools. I don't know. Couldn't get it out. So I was really sad. So my birthday thankfully is in like 20 days. And I might have reached out to my brother and been like, hey, if you didn't have an idea, I need a new pair of hokas. Which either way, I needed a new pair. You're supposed to replace them every like 400 miles. If you didn't know, now you know. So it was time for a new pair anyway. So thank you to Quentin. That is my peak. My new hokas were ordered today. But my pit is that I like to always I like to always have like a backup shoe. So since that my shoe is impaled. And like hokas, if you know hokas, they have like a very thick platform, like in the bottom. So it's like stuck in the middle. But like when I step, it's in there. And the bottom now has like a little hole. It's probably like not even dime size, but like it's still a hole. So you could continue to metal metal with it and so you can get it out i tried doing that today some more and then i i'm very impatient i got pretty annoyed with it i'll probably still try to mess with it because i like to have a backup shoe as a personal trainer i'm always in and nanny i'm always wearing like sneakers so i'll probably still try to mess with it thankfully i still have like my last pair of backups they just have a hole near the heel because i ran in them a lot those are the shoes that i did my 5k in and trained for my like first 5k in so yeah That's my really long pit and peak. Okay, my my pit and peak are kind of on the same playing field. So my pit is I went to Starbucks this weekend. So I went in, I was like, okay, I'm going to sit in Starbucks and like get some work done. And I ordered on the app and it took them 20 minutes and I still didn't have a drink. So I walked up and I asked about it and she told me, oh, it's right here. We just haven't put the cold foam on it yet. And I was like, okay. And then it took her another like 10 minutes to to put cold foam on my drink so I was a little annoyed about that just to begin with and then I get the drink and it tastes like sour like maybe the cream had gone bad or something so then I had to take it back up there so that was a frustration anyway peak on the other hand is I went to Dunkin today you and haven't had... finished it no I know but I got this for two dollars with a donut and I got it with almond milk and caramel swirl and cold foam two dollars okay so i a win so today's moose's birthday everybody say everything was just kidding Happy um birthday, moose. but after coaching i had like an hour gap before nannying so i also went to duncan and i was like oh, i'll get him a pup cup and also mondays is free call like you get a free medium with a purchase so i got a donut also and it was for 149 for my donut and then i put in my coffee get up to the thing and i'm like kind of a pup cut and and the lady's like there's no dog in the car and i was like okay it's his birthday like he's at home I'm in my coaching like I'm coming from work so it was really awkward and like awkwardly aggressive and she was like okay no problem I'm like thanks and she ended up giving me like a small cup full of foam it was honestly insane normally they give you like the little like espresso style cups Duncan usually does the small cup and really they've always given me an espresso Mm -hmm. cup same as Starbucks no no, anytime I've taken ginger there they always give me like a well either way though I didn't think to check my donut bag because I was just like okay this was awkward like I tried to you know skedaddle on out of that drive-thru I started driving down the road to like grab my donut and they gave me two donuts so I got two donuts a pup cup and a coffee for 149 and too. girl math i had money in my like duncan account so therefore it was actually just all free because the money was already out of my account for god knows how long i don't know how long i've had money in there so girl math i got two donuts a coffee and a book up for free okay so donuts are more expensive here apparently because that cost me 1.99 for a donut maybe it depends on which one you get i got a glaze donut i got a double chocolate like the chocolate glaze with the chocolate yeah crust. i don't know i feel like a glaze is like 
the easiest you can come by. No, I think they're all the same. Know. It's just the same. I think it's just more expensive here. Hmm. I don't, I don't know. know. It was one forty nine for me though, so I felt rich. It's like, That's why I mean, you're still drinking coffee at seven p.m. I would not sleep tonight. I'm not honestly. really drinking it. I'm slowly ish sipping, kind of. Anyway, right. what's your media minute? I don't really have one. Yeah, maybe kick us off. Okay. So my media minute is I was scrolling on TikTok earlier and happened to hold down on the screen in a certain spot and realized that they have oh, added yeah. a times two feature so you can fast forward through a TikTok. That's that's been there for a really long time. I can't okay, well, know. apparently I didn't notice it until now, but it's kind of nice. I noticed it like two months ago because one day I clicked down and it was somebody like I knew. I don't think it was you, but it was like one of my friends and they started talking really fast. and I was like, whoa. And then I let go of my finger and I was like, oh my gosh, I just did this. So then I did it again and I was like, whoa. Yeah. But yeah, that's been there for a minute. I do like that one. Okay. Well, for reference I feel silly, for everybody. But I just no, you're it out, But you know, I love it still. No, you're fine. So for all of our friends listening, this is the third recording we've done in like five days. So this is why the media minute for me right now is a little bit of a challenge. I you okay. Can do it. I've talked about Hannah Burner before. We're going to see her in November. I'm really excited. And she used to do burning and how her last name is burning or burner. Sorry. So, like, she did, like, B-E-R-N-I-N-G for, like, burning. But she always would, every week, have a celebrity appearance. Not literally. But, like, it would be, like, you know, another influencer. But she's on tour right now for a really long time. So, her and her husband, they took the same exact account and just changed the name, changed it all out. So, now it's called Burner Phone. So, you call in with your burning hot questions. And it's really cute, really fun. Des and her both were on, I think it's called Summer House. I didn't even know it was a thing. I guess that's how they, like, first, I think it's, like, Jersey Shore style, like, just trash TV style. Never mm-hmm. seen it, but I guess that's where they, like, found, I never really knew. I said to a member at the gym that I was going to see Hannah Burner in November, and they were like, oh, the girl from Summer House? And I was like, oh, I don't know, she's part of Giggly Squad. And they were like, who? I was like, that's how I know her. And they were like, that's how I know I'm old, because I know what Summer House is and you don't. I was like, lol. Okay. Gotcha. So, nice. you know what Giggly Squad is, or Summer House, or Burning in Hell? This is Burning in Hell's little revamp of Burner Phone, and it's really funny. That sounds funny. So I guess that's my okay. medium in it. Cool. Are we uh, ready to jump into the episode? I think so. Okay. I guess I'll kick it off. I would love that. All right. So starting with setting your goals, I think for me, I, it's helpful to just write down a brain dump of all the things I want to do or things I want to accomplish things I want to try, et cetera, et cetera, and just like brain dump it on paper, get it all out. And then I'll go back and like organize it and set like timelines for certain things. Like, oh, I think I could do these four things this year. Or I think I could accomplish, like these are reasonably accomplishable in the next month, etc. Maybe this is a more down the line goal, things like that. Yeah, I feel like for me, at least at my school when I was like growing up, I feel like at the beginning of every school year would be like, what's three short term goals and like what's like three long term goals type style. Yes. So I feel like I constantly do it with myself at the beginning of every year. But I also think I kind of do it with myself month to month of like, okay, long term goal. Like F- coaching at F45, as silly as it sounds, was like one of my first goals with like being a personal trainer. I was like, oh, I really want to be like a boutique style. And like I always said, I want to be at F45. It might have taken me way too long to get there, but I'm there. Yeah. But that's just like an example. So I think it's really just about like the long term and short term and like being realistic. Like you can't make a million dollars in a month, but maybe in like five to 10 years, like you could. And I feel like sometimes like you almost set yourself up for a burnout if you like if you're not realistic with it. So that's like a really big thing is like being realistic and maybe dumbing it down kind of how I explained of like every month be like, okay, like me every month with like a book when I write down my calendar. This is like one of my weird little niches. I write down my calendar. There's like a side column for notes. I put the books I'm going to read for the month in that side column, which is very type A of me, but I just put them in that side column so that I know like, oh, I'm going to try to read about seven books a month, six months, five books, whatever, you know, the number is. And then also it has them planned out so that it's not stressing. So I feel like something like that where it's like a constant continuum or almost like I feel like with people at the gym, it's a constant of like, oh, I'm going to go to the gym five days a week. If you don't have a plan, especially in the beginning, you've never done it before, you're not going to make it. Like, I don't mean to be rude, but you're not. So I feel like when you set the goals, I personally like go through and try to like perfect one at a time. So I'm just like giving more examples, I guess, of my life. But when I first moved into this apartment last July, I told myself I wanted to be a morning bird and I woke up at 5.45 every day and everybody thought I was a crackhead because I had no reason to be up that early. And I would just for like the first week, I woke up at 5.45. I made myself get straight out of bed. 
The second week, I started going to the gym by six. Like every week, you kind of add one thing in until you perfect it. That's kind of more of a habit builder than a goal builder. But honestly, I think that the space you're in builds your goals and habits around you. Like your headspace, your physical space, all of it, the people you're around. So, yeah. Yeah, I agree. I, yeah, if you are the type of person that wakes up at 10 in the morning and you're like, you know what? (laughs) I'm going to start waking up at 5 a.m. every day and you just like cold turkey it. That might be challenging. You might want to start with eight and then seven and then six and then get to five personal i've tried it you just end up really tired and you take a nap and then you ruin it all <laughs> yeah i feel like that kind of correlates i have one here and it's don't overfill your plate so like shawna said if you're a 10 a.m person that wakes up and you lay in bed on tiktok for an hour don't go oh starting tomorrow i'm gonna wake up at 5 a.m hit the gym by 5 30 have breakfast by six like don't you're not you're not you're not mm-hmm. doing that like, you might do it for like a day or two uh but after that day or two it's going to like you're better to just slowly back yourself into it yeah so like i said like i i personally would prefer to wake up at five perfect that i'm waking up at five know that i feel okay at five because you still have to obviously go through a full day just because you're waking up at five and working out by 5 30 doesn't mean that you still don't have work at eight you still don't have work until five and right. everything else and i feel like a lot of people don't think of that either and that's why a lot of burnout happens because you're like exhausted and you're like hangry, you didn't eat it, you didn't like plan your food for the day, etc. Yeah, they also say that it built it takes 21 days to build a habit. I feel like everybody kind of knows that. But if you didn't know, now you know. That's my saying for the day, I guess. If you didn't know, now you know. So I said that to my coworkers, and they were like, No, it takes like 90 days. And I was like, No, I'm pretty sure it's 21. They're like, 21's not enough. <laughs> I was like, okay. I've always heard 21. So I don't I have they two. Could... And they were like, No, I've never heard that. And I was like, what i'm pretty sure that's like a thing i'm confused anyway yeah that's what i've always heard but it takes 21 days to build a habit and i feel like like i said earlier like goals are habits like we made the goal for wanting to do this podcast so what do we do we record once a week or sometimes twice if that's what the schedule entails we make sure we're posting consecutively on certain days certain times reaching out to a certain amount of brands people per week etc which is a ton of minor habits within the big goal Mm -hmm. yeah I it kind of goes back to that same saying of like goals don't work unless you do like or like dreams don't work unless you do I think it's, it's the same. dreams yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> sorry but you it's like, dreaming is great it does like help with like inspiration motivation but then you have to just you have to have discipline and just like stick to it which is hard sometimes but you do you just got to stick to it and I that's agree. how you'll get and achieve like those goals Something you can do is like to help with that inspiration and everything is make some kind of vision board. I like to do it on my like screensavers on like my phone, my iPad, my computer, that stuff. Some people like to visually put it on their wall. That's great too. Yeah, I am more, like I said, the side of my calendar. It's because, so my calendar is in my room, like across from my bed. So if I wake up, that's like, I guess if I was to like sit straight up like a animatronic would like and literally spring straight up. It's the first thing I would see. It's not, but yeah, I do see it a lot and I pass it. And as I'm getting dressed for bed, as I'm getting dressed for work, like I'm seeing it and I'm like, oh, like it's the end of the month. And I ended up reading four books this month that were like not on like my quote unquote note TBR. And so therefore I haven't read two books on like my actual, you know, noted TBR, I guess you could say. And so I'm like, okay, how can I manage? There's literally like five days left in the month, six days left in the month. So now I'm sitting here and I'm like, how do I manage? Like tomorrow night I have book club. I'm on page 39 of the book. Knowing you, you're going to text me at like one in the morning and be like, I'm done. Well, <laughs> little little aura ring plug right here. It tells you your ideal bedtime. And I've been really trying to like, I'm, I'm very competitive within myself. And so I have to get good scores. And nobody else sees them, only I do. But I've been trying to go to bed in the aura timeline that they give me. That's so- probably a good thing. <laughs> No, yeah, I definitely want to talk more about that word, not today, but one day. But yeah, I've found myself, like, that's a habit that I wanted to start is, I was kind of talking to Sean about this earlier today. I have no problem waking up early. I'm very good at waking up to my alarm. I automatically get up, do what I got to do. I've always been that way. My problem is I'm exhausted as the day goes on. It's like five o'clock. Like, even right now, I'm like, ooh, I'm pretty tired. Connor wants to go to the movies. And I'm like, I don't know if I can do that. But I know if I was to get in bed right now, I'd be like, I'm not tired. I'm good. Let's go run a marathon. Yeah. So I do think that's one thing. Where I guess you could say you can almost supplement supplement your goals. So the O-ring was definitely an investment. 
But like it does things like remind me like, hey, you need to rest because I know I'm an overdoer. Or, hey, you need to go to bed. It's bedtime. Or, you know, it also syncs with your period. And it's like, hey, you might feel really moody today. And it's like, that's good to know. Maybe I won't call my parents and be a biatch. So you can also find things that almost supplement your goals. Like Siobhan and I obviously have this podcast together. So we have to bounce ideas off of each other. And we use each other as supplement for the podcast as well as well as other things. But I would say we're each other's main supplement and consistent, easy, like, you know, we're consistent due to each other. Mm -hmm. Whereas like my ring, you know, is helping me sleep or not helping me, but, you know, giving me a schedule. So Mm -hmm. I feel like that's another big thing is you can always find something to supplement or to help, I guess, push you along the way towards your goals. Like some people like to journal. Some people... Like Shauna said, I almost have like a vision board. Something I like to do is use timers. So sometimes I don't want to sit down and do something that I need to get done. It's hard to get up and like, you know, get off your phone maybe or something like that. So if I'm sitting and I'm like, okay, I need to get up. I'll like set a timer for like five minutes, three minutes, 10 minutes, whatever. And when that timer goes off, I make myself get up and do the said thing. Or, and the other way around, if I need to do something that I maybe am putting off, dreading, etc. I'll sit down to do it and I'll set a timer and I can't stop until that timer goes off. And a lot of times I put it off because of the idea of the thing. And once I'm in it, I'm good and I can just keep going. Even once that timer goes off, I'll just keep going. But it just gives you that start that you need to like sit down and and do said thing. Because sometimes goals entail things that are not necessarily your favorite things to do but it's part of it so gotta get them done like shawana when i get back into the gym but that entails doing leg day <laughs> yeah no there's this girl i follow i'm not gonna get a, i i feel like i haven't seen her post tiktok in a while but i also feel like tiktok's algorithm has been kind of wonky but i follow her and she will post like the tiktoks of like 88 like having adhd and having to clean your house i don't know if you've ever seen her she's really funny and she like have music in the background and then she'll like yes. really like drop in She's so funny. I haven't seen anything in a while. I think I follow her. Maybe I don't. But she made the joke months ago, like, oh, I put on my sneakers because you're not going to relax when you have sneakers on your feet. I've heard that too. Yes. So like kind of how you were saying is like sometimes it's not always going to be fun. So like if I have a ton of laundry to fold, I'm going to put on my sneakers because guess what? I'm not going to sit on the couch, plop down and get comfy. So it's kind of the same with like as silly as this sounds, like my glasses are only for far sight and then they're also blue light in them and I hate wearing them like I don't wear them often so I'll put them on because I know I hate wearing them and guess what I'm gonna do all my computer work as soon as humanly possible so I can get these glasses off so it's just like silly things like that that like you know we're gonna push you to work harder how Shalana was kind of saying mm-hmm. and it's kind of just like you're not always gonna have fun like today I've probably reached out to like 30 companies and I would love for them to all to email me back so if you're listening hi welcome I'm Cassidy I emailed you today please answer but it's dreadful because it's one rejection. I feel like it's another big thing with goals is that, like you never want to be rejected even from like a self goal. It's just you versus the goal. Yeah. And also it's like sometimes you almost feel like you're doing it incorrect. But honestly, I feel like there's no correct way to do anything. No, okay, I agree. That, okay. That might be a little dramatic. No. I well, correct ways to do some stuff. But like there's no correct way to put yourself out there and go towards your goals. Well, the other thing is it's kind of like, oh, I'll start when I know what I'm doing. I'll start when I'm good at that. Well, if you don't do it, you're never going to be good at it. So therefore, you're never going to start. Everybody starts somewhere. You just got to do it. Like when we started this, we literally just popped some headphones in and and called it a day. We said, okay, this this is what we're doing. Yeah. I feel like we still have days like that, honestly, sometimes where we're like, okay, we don't fully know what we're doing. Like, at least if we do it, we'll get better at it. Yeah. It's like riding a bike when you're little. Like it will eventually, the tr- eventually you won't need the training wheels. Eventually, you'll go straight. Eventually, you won't skin your knee. Yep. Like one day you're gonna get up on the bike and just keep biking, which is a silly analogy, but it's true. Well, also like every everything you do is kind of a learning experience. So like even if it's something you're not enjoying, you're gaining something from it, you know. But then kind of along with that is like like you said, things don't have to be perfect like as long as you're getting them done and I I guess that kind of goes back to when you're in school and like nobody's gonna look at your transcript when you're looking for a job nobody's gonna go oh you got a C in that class we're not gonna hire you like just pass you know just get through it Mm -hmm. uh and I think the same goes for like most things in life like it doesn't always have to be like picture perfect 
yeah exact like don't spend the extra time if it's unneeded you know yeah i feel like even you could kind of relate to this podcast some of our episodes flop like we'll just be honest some of our episodes flop and then some of our episodes were like some of our episodes we don't even want to put out and then it's like wow they really liked that one and like we doubted ourselves and we were like oh like that recording maybe wasn't the best like what should we do and like you guys eat it up yeah but it's one of those things that like you'll never know unless you just put it out there or you try no for sure and I feel like that's a lot with goals and habits, like just build, just start the Instagram, just start the con, like, you know, just start posting on TikTok. My TikTok, I post like the most random things. I'm not consistent, but it's just fun. And I'm like, okay, cool. If one day I decide to become famous, cool. If I don't, cool. Like my TikTok's just for me to be funny. Yeah. And I feel like that could be a lot of like this podcast. Sure. One day we could totally blow up and be famous for now. It's just we already talk every day, 24 seven, might as well record it and see what happens. And like I said, yep. sometimes you guys eat up an episode. And I feel like especially with guests recently, we've been so honored and privileged to have people on here who can really share their story, whether it's something more vulnerable or something more adventurous and fun. But I think it's really fun. And I, Sean and I were even talking and even if a guest episode was to get two views we still got to connect with somebody who maybe through social media we wouldn't have been able to connect with on the same level and yeah. i think that just bit like it's like in the barbie movie have you seen it yet no <sighs> okay mm-hmm. i'll like briefly sug- say this without like i guess spoiling it just want to close your ears i don't know but <laughs> <laughs> um as if you're not and- in my headphones <laughs> like take them out i don't know but yes because i'm gonna edit this well watch the movie before you edit it i don't know like i said i'll do it briefly so in the movie like there's all the different types of barbies i feel like this is also just like an unknown fact you go to target there's like you know dr barbie nurse barbie etc barbie and like all the barbies are best friends even though they're all so different and i feel like with the world like you don't really always like you i would never talk to a doctor in my free time i'm not a doctor i have nothing you know how would i even connect with one And I feel like this podcast gives us such a connection to that. And I feel like some of your goals could connect you with people who you would have never thought you could totally become the best of friends with or just truly have like a deep connection with. And it's because like you're afraid. It's scary. And I feel like like we've said like this whole episode, it's just like pushing through that, starting it, building the habit first, maybe break it down Mm -hmm. the goal. How, How many habits are within that goal that you can start before, you know, maybe you start with the big, scary wolf of the goal Mm -hmm. how many little pigs are there in tiny little houses (laughs) that's a silly Mm -hmm. analogy too i'm such a silly goosey have you heard the song live more and love more i think it's what it's called it was like something on reels that was going through she's smaller like a smaller artist i think but i have it on my playlist because i think it's just a very uplifting song and she kind of says um those things well i'm gonna pull up the lyrics real quick yeah so she says don't let your head stop your heart from moving if you want to talk to them talk to them if you want to like do something do it i like that song i think it's like inspiring almost like an affirmation type of thing which i think are really good in this sense as well just to like get you in the headspace to get your goals done yeah also this one's i feel like self-explained her but like be around people with like-minded ideas or like-minded mindsets yeah i started going to a small group shout out to lexi if you're listening and i was kind of nervous at first just because like although i'm religious i'm not like omg like super duper religious like i don't save myself for marriage like no offense to anybody if you're listening and maybe you do that's totally great for you and like i do obviously curse if you listen to this podcast i occasionally drop a bad word <laughs> lol but not the point. I feel like religion's different for people. Though. Well, no. What I'm more saying, though, is just, like, being in a small group, there's so many like-minded people that, like, are all just, like, there's also girls that, you know, didn't save themselves for marriage. There's also girls that occasionally, you know, drop the F-bomb. And being around those like-minded people that, like, want that relationship with God, this is just an example. I'm not saying you have to join a small group. But I'm saying, like, being in this group of, like, people who also want to be connected to God is, like, a whole group of girls that are almost, like, the Barbies. Like, they're all supporting each other, even though they're so different. And so I feel like that's a big thing. Like Sloan, who was on last week's episode, two weeks ago, two weeks ago episode. So don't I always, when we hang out, are just bouncing so many ideas off of each other all the time. She's always like, Cassie, what do you think of this idea? Because like I obviously have some business stuff with the podcast. She has her business. So it's kind of like, Cassie, what do you think of this? And I'm like, okay, that might be a trademarked something. But maybe if we move things around, like that could mm-hmm. be great. And it's just like I said, like being around the people with a like-minded mindset and also the people that want to see you do well and excel. 
are they're going to be there and like i'll sometimes say to the girls will be like oh we're debating this for the podcast what do you think and they'll be like eh. and i'm like what about that and they're like love like and sometimes you kind of need you know somebody else because she'll be like oh my god that's amazing but it's because it's like our baby like nobody's baby comes out of the room and they're like that's an ugly baby like you love your child this is our child so sometimes you kind of <laughs> need like that third person to be like, no, your and child's ugly. Opinion. Like, yeah, like that's an ugly baby girl. And I'm like, okay, yeah. thanks. <laughs> but what an analogy. Really being around, <laughs> I'm really just full of analogies today. I'm such a silly Apparently. Reason. But it's really just all about being around like-minded people and people that want to see you excel at your goals. And honestly, 100%. I love like telling like my super close friends, like my biggest goals so that I almost have somebody to push me to. Because then it's like, oh, Shwana, I remember you mentioned blank. Are you getting there? And you're like, well, no. And I'm like, well, what are you waiting for? And like, sometimes I need the same thing of like, Cassie, did you do that? And I'm like, no, I wrote it up, but like, I didn't send it. And Shwana's like, oh, okay, well, we, you know, send it. And I'm like, okay, yeah. fine, deal. I'll send it. Fine. No, it's very helpful to have an accountability person, which I think, for example, our, this podcast, I think we both keep each other very accountable and on top of things even when we want to punch each other in the face because we literally talk 24 <laughs> happens and have to bounce every <laughs> single idea off of each other and it's just like god but that's just the reality too is like sometimes your goal is gonna have like a setback thankfully we've never had like a major setback but occasionally it is just like she want to pick something and she's like Cassie, you're being annoying and i'm like shona you're being annoying and we sit there and argue like we're sisters because we're together and talking 24 7 so that's gonna happen <laughs> you're gonna have like setbacks with your goals like and that's gonna be okay it's just like kind of i don't even want to say fake it to you make it just like push through more really like it's okay to have a bad day but it's more just like push through the bad day and like still push for the goal don't give up on it mm-hmm. so yeah and some days you just need to take the night off and start fresh the next day and that's okay too mm-hmm. Take a good shower or whatever fills your cup, as my mom says. Vegetate on your couch or rot, I guess. Rot. Vegetate? You think vegetate's a better word than rot? I don't know. No, no, I don't. <laughs> the rot is growing on me, I won't lie. <laughs> I just am being stubborn, so I'm, like, avoiding it. <laughs> it's okay. This morning I woke up, and the, I literally, my computer happened to be right by my bed. It's a total sad note. I pulled it up and, like, automatically started sending the business emails I was talking about earlier. And Connor goes, oh, are you rotting in bed? And I was like, I just woke up 10 minutes ago. This doesn't count as a rot. I just woke up. And I'm also <laughs> doing business stuff in bed. That's not rotting. Mm-mm. I was like, don't say that. Yeah. But it was kind of funny. I was like, no, I'm not rotting. Thank you very much. You just need to like clear your head, relax, enjoy doing nothing. Because if you overwhelm Vegetate. yourself too much, you uh, you end up... You burn out. Yeah, you burn out. And... and... You don't want to do that if you want to actually achieve stuff. So give yourself grace. Yeah. Take the time you need. And you got this. Yeah. If you want an accountability partner or you want somebody to tell you if uh, maybe you, you have an ugly baby, you can message us. We'll help you. Not the ugly baby. <laughs> you know I'm right. I as know much what you, you mean. As much as you're laughing at me, like, you know it. You know what I mean. And it's everybody the, listening, I promise I you know also you know mean. what I mean. The uh, analogy is cracking me up, though. Anyway. All right. Well, I think that's that's everything, right? Yeah, I'm good to go. Awesome. Well, thank you everybody for listening to today's episode. We're so glad you are here and clicked on it. If you're enjoying, we'd love if you wanted to leave a review and a rating. It really would help us out, help us grow the pod. It means a lot. We also have Instagram and TikTok. They're in back.pod, also linked down below. You can also find our personal Instagrams linked down below. And we're on YouTube, Spotify, and Apple Podcasts. So hope to hope you stick around. And we'll talk to you guys next week. Bye, Bye guys. Also, next week, we have something exciting. Me again. too. Don't miss it. So Tuesday, the be square. there. Or be square. <laughs> okay, bye. I don't know. Shavana's, Shavana's analogies today are kind of geeking me. <laughs> <laughs> i mean all right guys go go vegetate on your couches <laughs> bye <laughs> bye guys love you all see you next tuesday